Hey guys, this is Brock with Two Strokes. Today I'll be disassembling a BMS four stroke scooter motor. While I'll be disassembling the motor, I'll be showing you how to take the different parts off. So let's get started. The tools that will be needed are a Phillips screwdriver, a ratchetable wrench with an extender, a 10 millimeter socket, and an 8 millimeter socket. The first step that I'm going to show you is how to remove the kit starter off the motor. So you want to get your ratchetable wrench with your 10 millimeter socket. Then you want to loosen this bolt. You have to take it all the way out. Then you'll be able to remove the kit starter. So once you get the 10 millimeter bolt out all the way, you are able to remove the kit starter. Once you get the 10 millimeter bolt out all the way off the kit starter, you should be able just to pull off the kit starter. In order to take off the side cover off of your four stroke scooter, You'll need to remove all the 8 millimeter bolts with your ratchet ball wrench that's tender and the 8 millimeter socket and take out all the 8 millimeter bolts around the case. So while you're taking up the 8mm bolts around the side case, you also have to remove the 10mm oil drain bolt right there. So once you get all the 8mm and the 10mm oil drain bolt out around the side case, after you slip off the side case, you'll see the gears and the belt in here. So here is the drive shaft with the belt and the kit starter gears. So the next part that I'll be showing you is how to take off the head and the cylinder. In order to remove the head and cylinder, you have to remove this black plastic. In order to remove the plastic, you have to go around and remove all the screws around the black plastic. And you have to take off the two 10 millimeter nuts off the air intake boot. And remember to take off the screws around the fan cover too. You have to remove the fan cover screws in order to take off the plastic. Also, when you are removing the Phillips screws off the plastic, you have to take off the 8 millimeter bolt right here on the side. So you want to get your ratchetable wrench the extension and the 10 millimeter socket. So you'll want to remove the 10 millimeter nuts on the rubber intake boot on top.
After you remove the two 10mm bolts off the rubber intake boot to the carburetor, you should be able to slide it off. Then you'll be able to see the exhaust hole under the boot. So next you want to continue taking out the Phillips screws around the plastic to get to the head and cylinder. When you are removing the Phillips screws around the plastic, on the fan cover there are two 8mm bolts on the top and bottom right there that you have to remove also. So when you get all the two 10mm bolts and the Phillips screws all the way around the plastic, you are now able to separate the plastics apart. On the plastics right here on the head and cylinder, there's little snaps you have to push in to remove the plastic. Then they, after you push in the little snaps on the plastics, they just lift up and down to remove. Next, in order to take off the head, you will need to remove the four 8mm bolts around the head with your 8mm socket and ratchable wrench.